Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a small spatula. Uh, we're going to be creating this in inches. So we'll go ahead and open up the program. We'll go to File, New, New Design. Then we're going to come back up to File, go down to Design Spark Options, navigate over to Units, make sure this is in uh, Change from Metric to Imperial. And click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and click that I or V on the key keyboard. We'll go to the uh, plan view. All right, I have one that I'm going to be taking measurements from, so we'll go ahead and use that. So we're going to go three and a half. So what we want to do is click with the line tool, put a line out to 3.5. So we'll type 3.5. Now we're going to draw another line which is going to be 4.5 so we'll control minus so we have some extra room and then we'll um, type 4.5 and that's going to be a hundred and forty eight point six degree angle okay now we want to do a little bit of an offset so we'll go ahead and select everything and then come over here to offset and then we're going to go 0 0.625 undo that that's that should be 0 0.0625 hmm. I'm just going to make it 0.1 that's good enough. Okay, let's control plus to zoom in a couple of times. Grab our line tool and we're gonna go endpoint, endpoint, select the click off, and we're gonna pan. Grab our line tool, we're gonna put endpoint to endpoint, close that up. Control minus, let's pan over. Grab our uh, create rounded corners. We're going to put a fillet in here. Let's do this uh, 0.7. And then we're going to come on the bottom and do the same thing 0.7. Okay. Now we're going to add some thickness to this spatula. We're going to go ahead and make ours We'll go two inches Control minus Let's go ahead and go to the 3D mode Let's spin this Select pull We'll select our graphic there Change this to pull from both sides Punch in two Okay, now we want to go ahead and go up here to the top view. Actually, this should be, I think, front view. Okay, so go ahead and go to front view. Front view. I'm going to go ahead and click there. This is a smaller part. This is where we want the handle to be. So we're going to go ahead and get our line tool and we're going to put a line straight down the middle there. doesn't matter how long it is. And then we're going to go uh, right mouse click on that. We're going to create set as mirror. And then we want this, our handle to be, we'll just say uh, one inch. So we're going to go ahead and offset. We're going to offset this. Type in 0.5. Uh, that looks a little too thick, so let's go a little smaller. Let's do this. It's 2.75. So we'll offset. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty big. Um, let's drag it to how big I think it needs to be. Um, so we're gonna go half of that. So 0.8, so 0 .0 point four would be good. Okay, so we're gonna go to there. Go ahead and spin this a little bit. Okay, now I'll go back to front view. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put in the uh, part for the spatula. So we'll go ahead and get a line. And then we'll just kind of move this up like this. And then we're gonna follow it along. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and spin this. And then we'll go to pull. We're gonna select all of this. Hold down the control key. We're gonna go to cut. And then we're gonna drag this. Drag that through. Okay, that's good. Let's pan this over. Let's pull, we're gonna add a little bit of thickness to the handle there. 0 0.130. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. And then we'll pull the bottom. 0 0.130. And then we'll spin going to be our spatula. Now we're going to go ahead and um, get the select. Let's select everything. Okay, let's do that top part. We'll pull. Go to pull through that line. Oh, point oh four. Oh, point oh four. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get the pull. Select that line there. We're going to do a chamfer here. Let's go with 0 0.1. Spin this. Okay, and the only other thing we're going to do is move this around, select that, go to plan view, control minus. We got some little uh, fluted areas we're going to put on here. So we'll go ahead and get the line tool. Let's put a line there straight down. Set as mirror. Control plus. Let's get our uh, circle tool. Let's go 0.2 and then let's put one down here. 0.2. Then we'll go ahead and get our line tool. Okay, 
sure we got a piece in there. Let's go ahead and get our trim away. Okay, that's good there. Let's get our select. Let's get rid of that line. Let's go ahead and select this, copy, paste. Let's move. 0.42 and then do a paste control V and then let's move another one over control C control V 0.42 and then do a paste control V so these are going to be our little slots so we're going to actually move these up so we'll select everything grab the green Move them up 0.150. Go ahead and get the uh, go back to the 3D mode. Spin this. Let's get let's go to pull. Select all of these. Pull them straight through. Put some fillets in these, and then we'll be done. So let's click till everything's selected. Do a 0.2 fillet. Then we'll do this one. 0.2. All right. Let's go ahead and view this from top. Let's get rid of that line there. We don't need it. Let's go ahead and spin this. Let's put a uh, fillet on here. Get that bottom line, hold down control. Let's do an 0.4. Spin this around, make sure it's good. Okay, let's get these lines here. Go to pull. Let's pull that to 0.2. We're going to go ahead and spin that. Looks like the bottom already got done. All right, that's going to be our small spatula. We'll go ahead and view this from uh, the front. Um, the only other thing I could probably do is go ahead and spin this. Let's go Control Plus. Uh, I think I'm going to just leave it like this. Control Minus. Okay, it's going to be our spatula. We'll go back to the front view. Um, Okay, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of the video. I think one thing I am going to do is make is pull the side in a little bit. So we'll go to pull. Can't really do that. So, okay, we'll leave it. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy watching and uh, you got something useful out of the video. Okay, thanks again for watching.